Hi everyone, this is Pooja Samir Bhunwe, Assistant Professor in AISSMS IVRT of the Department of Artificial Intelligence and Data Science. Now, today's session we will discuss the different levels of an MIS. Uh, so, so, there is a management level. So, managers can be uh, differentiated on the basis of um, their organizational position and responsibility. So, here there is, uh, they can be, uh, the levels can be uh, classified in the different way. That is, first one is top level, middle level, and then low level management. So, uh, in this figure shows that the managers have by their hierarchical level within the organizational pyramid. So, as top management, middle management, and the first line management, or we can say it is a low level management. So, we will go to one by one of an uh, hierarchical of an top, middle, and then low level, or we can say the frontline manager so in the top level management uh, our managers are very uh, top levels of an area who are ultimately responsible for the entire organization they are very few in members in the typical titles of it, uh, managers are like a uh, chief executive officer then president or vice president executive uh, executive director or directors uh, senior vice president so uh, these are nothing but the different uh, top level manager management then top management managers have direct responsibility for the upper layer of the middle management directly below them in hereditary of the organization the role of the top management can be uh, summarized as uh, follows that is first role will be the other uh, management uh, lays down in the objective board principle policies of the enterprises uh, then next one is it is uh, issue the necessity instruction for the preparation of department budgets, procedure, schedule and etc. It will prepare the strategic plan and the policies for the enterprises. Uh, the role of the next role will be the it appoints an executive of a middle level that is departmental manager and supervisor all this. So again it will control uh, next role will be it controls the coordinate the activities of all the departments. Uh, after that, it also responsible for maintaining the contact with the outside of the world. So, whatever the um, project or uh, business share will be done by using uh, in the top level management. Also, it provides the guidance and the directions of an uh, low level management and the middle level management. Next, uh, next role will be the that is top management is also responsible for the towards the stakeholder for the performance of the enterprises uh, or the business group. So the top manage managers observe all the planning for the organization and maintain the overall control over the process of the organization. So this is how the top level management. Now we will go to the next that is middle level management. So in the middle level management uh, who execute the strategy established by the top management who supervise or the coordinate the activities of a first line manager are called as a uh, middle level manager so the branch manager uh, who will hold this so the branch manager then departmental managers uh, constitute the middle level so they are responsible for the top management for their functioning their department they devote more to the organization and directional functions uh, in some small organization there is only one layer that is we can say the middle level management but in big enterprises there may be a senior or junior middle level management will be emphasized so uh, the different roles uh, will be established in the middle level management that we will see one by one so here the role of the middle level management is the they execute the plans of an organization in accordance with the policies and the directives of the top management they make the plans for the subunits of the organization. They participate in employment and training of a lower level management. They interpret and explain the policies from top level management to the lower level management. After that, they are responsible for coordinating the activities within the division or the department. It also sends an important reports to other important data to the top level management. The next role will be they evaluate the performance of a junior managers. After that, they are also responsible for inspiring the level managers towards the better performance. 
so these are the roles and the responsibilities of an middle level management also uh, in very large organization middle level management includes more than one levels so in many companies cut the member of a manager levels in an attempt to lower cost facilitate, uh, facilitate and communication at the reduce their level layer involved in the decision making so this is how the middle level management now come to the next that is lower level management so in the managers at the lower level hierarchy who will uh, supervise and coordinate the work of operating in non managerial employees for the frontline managers so here lower level is also known as an supervisor operative uh, level management it consists of supervisor foreman uh, section officer superintendent etc so in the um, in the in this low level or we can say the front level management oversee, oversee the groups of people who produce the goals or services provided by the organization they are extremely important to the success of an organization because uh, they are involved in the day to day life operation and that are closest to the actual operation of the organization they are also responsible for smooth functioning of the organization uh, they have in a low level managers operate the interface between the management at the work force of the organization they will represent the workers to the management frequently workers pre uh, perceive the judge management through their supervisor and the upper management goes the workforce primarily through the supervisor so they have their different activities at the lower level management we will discuss one by one so first one is that assigning a job and task to the various worker uh, after that they guide and instruct the workers for daily day to day day activities after that they responsible for the quality as well as quantity of the production they are also uh, interested in the responsibility of maintaining the good relation in the organization they are also interested with the they are communicate the worker problem after that suggestion and recommendatory appeal to higher level uh, next role of the lower level management is they help to solve and grievances of the works workers also they have the supervise and guide the uh, guide the subroutines next uh, role of that are responsible for providing the training to the workers to regarding to that project or the production they are arrange the necessary materials machine tools etc for getting the things good uh, easily by done they prepare a periodical reports about the performance of the worker they ensure a discipline in the enterprises and they also motivate the workers to do a good job they are image builders and enterprises because they are a direct contact with the workers so in the lower level management are responsible for directing the work for the subroutines their jobs may widely depending on the structure of the organization and the level within the firm the important characteristics uh, of an lower level management are leader leadership motivator decision maker coordinator counselor communicator and the trainer so this is how we have seen the three different levels of management information that is management level uh, middle level management and then lower le level management and who are the responsibilities uh, what are the responsibility roles and responsibility that we also seen in today's session so hope uh, thank you guys and wish you